Warning! The following video is intended for viewers 13 years and older. Viewer discretion is advised. You're here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. What's going on YouTube? It's I'm Ghost of Sparta and I'm here with another fantastic review for you guys. One quick announcement. If you're under 13, please leave my damn channel and come back when you're 13. Appreciate it. All right, back to the review. So we have the V mask from Bullet Head. It's a 112 figure, so it's about six inches. And this is not a figure that I'm used to reviewing because, well, you'll see that when I once I unbox it and have the figure out and displaying for you guys. But if you're new to this channel and you're 13 years and above, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss another video from me. And what I do is I review action figures for the collector out there that's looking to maybe add something to his collection or even, you know, buy it just for display. So this is what I do. And I have a lot of videos up for that. I'll leave in the description below other videos that I've done. So please be ready for this fantastic review. And voila, as V says when he meets Evie. This is him. This is a crazy figure, guys. I have no idea this company, Bullet Head, but he has clothes. Like, that's the main selling point. He has clothes and he has hair. He has rooted hair for him. He has, re not, I won't say real hair, but he has synthetic hair that looks amazing. That gives this figure a much fantastic reason, a fantastic reason for him to be on your shelf. Let's take a look how tall he is real quick. So you can see here, he's standing about six inches to the brim of the hat. That's pretty much where the top of his head is. So it's in scale. It's a six inch scale. You could probably scale him with Marvel Legend figures. I mean, this figure is fantastic. It has clothes. It's using real clothes. It has his six daggers. He comes with a couple other hands and accessories that I'll go over with, with you guys. But let's take a look at the figure a little closer. So let's see here, there's the hat. It's a nice plastic hat. Has no articulation or anything else it's just a plastic hat let me just focus this guy a bit so you can see the hair is actually real it's like well i don't want to say it's real but they used some kind of synthetic hair maybe from a broom i have no idea but this is what they're using the cape is cloth which is i'm a sucker for cloth capes are the best i wish it had a bendy wire so i can pose it a little bit better but as you can see it comes with his six daggers and he has weapon storage which is an also a fantastic part of this figure so for articulation wise he doesn't come with any other heads but his head can rotate three, 360 degrees he can look up quite a few and he could look down quite a bit as well so he has some good range there his arm can fully rotate but it's hindered due to the clothes so you could get about this much as in of an angle or distance and it can rotate back about this much but like I said, the clothes is what's going to hinder this figure. He has a single jointed elbow, but it gives you 90 degrees, which is, you know, fair enough. Now, as for the wrist, there is a wrist swivel and there's also a hinge. But because of the way the gloves are, the hinge is hard to see. So if I pop it off, you can see there's the hinge right there. The hinge is rotates and it moves up and down. So that's the only problem is that you won't be able to see which way the hand will go. And the plastic around the glove kind of hinders it a little bit. So if, so if you wanted to get him with his hand bent a little bit, his wrist bent, it's going to be difficult. As for abs, he has an ab crunch, which is crazy. He can crunch himself this far down in that many degrees and he can go up that many degrees. Now, as for his waist, there is a slight waist swivel, but the clothes is going to hinder it. But I mean, this is crazy. A six inch figure with actual clothes is nuts. Like I'm going to static over it. So the leg, you can pose the leg that far up and you can get it that far back. No thigh swivel, but you do get a single jointed knee, which gives you a little bit more than 90, which is enough for this figure to pose. We got a ankle swivel. I don't know if the boot has any articulation let's take that off oh nope it's just a peg it's just a straight peg so you're not going to get any any uh well you might get an ankle rocker but i mean he's wearing a boot you're not going to get much out of that so you have that right there so that's pretty much it for the articulation i mean but even though even though it's you know 
slightly hindered, you know, through the costume. It's still a great figure to pose. I mean, you could imagine the amount of poses this guy can get. You know, the hair is freaking awesome. Like, an action figure with hair? Like, you can't get better than that, man. I think this figure retailed for like 70 bucks. From what I understand, I'd have to check from where I bought it from. Um, I could leave a link in the description for you guys. You know, I don't get any commission or anything off of the link. It's just that I want you guys to be able to buy awesome figures. That's about it. You know, so I'll leave a link in the description of where I get my figures. And then you guys can talk to that guy because he's really good and he's really understandable. But um, yeah, this figure is sick awesome. So these are the... Uh, so these are the accessories you get from Bullethead's V mask figure. He comes with six pairs, excuse me, not six pairs, three pairs of hands. He comes with the Scarlet Carson, the rose for some of you. Um, and he comes with his six daggers and his hat. I mean, the daggers are done beautifully. I mean, if you take a look at this bad boy right here, let me focus it in on it for you. Bam, you can see the detail. It's silver, it's pointy as it should be. It has great detail, I mean, you can't get better than that. It's painted black like it is in the movie. And it looks exactly like the ones in the movie. You know, he comes with his rose, which is here. Painted beautifully, sculpted beautifully. Has enough petals. I mean, it's very basic, but the fact that it came with the rose. I mean, whoever was making this figure is making the figure to the fans. And as for his hands, he does come with the two slightly gripping hands that are on him in the box. He comes with a couple of gesture hands. He comes with a fisted hand. Then he comes with this hand here, which looks like, you know, maybe for a gesture as well. And that's pretty much it for the accessories. So let's get back to the figure. So there we have it. I hope I was able to capture the V essence from the movie. I mean, this figure is fantastic, guys. I mean, you can't get a better deal than this. I mean, with the clothes, the cape, the hair, the mask detail. I mean, it's, oh, I don't even know what else to say. All I know is smash that like button for this figure, guys. Smash it. I mean, before we get to the slideshow, I mean, let's take a look at the paint detail on the face. Like, oh my goodness. The cape is also removable by pulling off the head. So you can display him without the cape. But my goodness. Look at the paint apps on the face. Like, it literally looks like the one from the movie. I mean, it's not a very difficult design, but they nailed it. They nailed it to the T. Like, it looks great. Like, you can't get better than that. I mean, for what this figure pretty much costs, you're getting a really good deal for a figure. I mean, I was super happy to pick this up. And man, look at that. It's pretty much V. Like, I feel like I'm watching, like I'm holding the character in my hand, like from the movie. You know, sometimes you get movie figures. They don't always, they're not always to expectation, but you can't get better than this guys i appreciate you guys for watching stay tuned for the slideshow that's coming up please like subscribe hit that bell icon that way you won't miss fantastic reviews for me and enjoy the rest of your day